Welcome to Minute with Myers. I am Pastor Ed Myers. I have two words for you today. Watch out. When you hear those words, watch out. Watch out. Watch out. What do you think? What do you think of? If you're like most people, you think of watching out for the dangers of the world or the things that might harm you or harm your family. I want you to hear those words differently today, though. You see, at the base of every major religion, and this is certainly true for those of us of the Christian faith, or it should be because it's in our scriptures, we are called not to watch out for the dangers I mean, yes, we, we do naturally have to do some of that, but we are called to watch out for others. The author of Philippians put it, puts it this way, don't do anything for selfish purposes, but with humility, think of others as better than yourselves. Instead of each person watching out for their own good, watch out for what is better for others. What would that look like in your relationships if you were watching out for others, not in a way that they're trying to get at you or to get to you or take advantage of you? Now, we do need to be wary. Some folks do that. I realize that. But watch out. That means to be concerned about the suffering of others or the pain of others. And some days that's really hard, especially when we have so many of our own concerns to worry about. But I think that's the trap we get stuck in. And the greater call, right, the Spirit of God and the calling of our lives is to move beyond ourselves, right? Every great spiritual hero of every faith has moved beyond themselves to watching out for others. The example given in Philippians goes on to then say, we are to imitate Christ in the suffering that Christ had for others. See, the temptation when Jesus was in the wilderness was to watch out for himself, but instead he watched out for us. How different would the world be if we watched out for each other instead of watched out that others are about to get us? Now, we do need to be, as Jesus said, sly as foxes, right? And understand that there may be folks out to get us but on a much, much, much deeper level, on a day-to-day, -day, every relationship you're involved with. Um, if you're married, in a marriage, um, as a student or a worker with your uh, peers, with your coworkers, with your family, what does it mean for you? And what is the Spirit saying to you about watching out for others? Simply put, look at all the cares you've had today. How many of those were for others? And how many of those were for yourself? I rest my case. But the call is there and the invitation there and the challenge is there. Watch out, not for yourself, but for others. Amen.